So the Neuro NICU is a concept that focuses on babies who either have neurological injury or are at risk for neurological injury. It's a very integral part of uh, level four in ICUs. Not everybody has the special service. We have specialized nursing. We have people that are doing neuroprotective care in terms of the way babies are handled and the way we monitor blood pressure and identify oxygen levels in the brain. We have been able to acquire video EEG machines to not only look at background activity, but it's also a screen for uh, potentially identifying seizure activity in babies. This background is very abnormal. That's a seizure background. And you can see the real time showing those little spike wave activity. That's an individual seizure. The baby wasn't doing any clinical seizure activity. So you wouldn't, if you didn't have this, you would never know the baby was having seizures. We were able to recognize that and then treat the baby. And baby's much better now. Most neuro NICUs focus on babies who have already had brain injury. What's unique about our neuro NICU is that we actually have a formal program on neuroprotection. The neuroprotective care program actually focuses on protecting babies that are at risk for having brain injury to help keep them from having it in the first place. And it's really about the nursing staff getting the parents involved, a whole kind of a different approach towards enhancing their neurodevelopmental outcome. It's an incredible tool that just adds more to what our physicians and nurses can do to make sure that our babies are well cared for and can recover quickly and get home as soon as possible. Probably the most important aspect of neuroprotective care is to make it possible and actually easy for parents to be there. Because believe it or not, babies' brain development is dependent upon the parents' interaction as well. Lucas was born at a little over 36 weeks gestation, and uh, so he's what we would call a late preterm infant, and late preterm infants are at higher risk for several things because they're just still premature little babies. And uh, one of the things that they're at risk for is getting jaundice a little earlier and a little more severe, and so he came in for phototherapy to help treat his jaundice. Uh, but uh, the most neuroprotective thing we can do for Lucas is to have him skin to skin with his mama in between his phototherapy. And that's what he's getting right now. Just getting that bonding and being able to still hold them and know that you still get to be mom, even with the machines and everything, that there's still a place for you and knowing that this is like still good for him. So it really helps and it helps me and comforts me and soothes me at the same time. We are the only neuro and neonatal intensive care unit in this, our catchment area in the region of southeastern California. People in the Inland Empire here, Riverside, San Bernardino, can feel very confident that the level of uh, neurocritical care that we can offer is on a par with anybody in the country. I'm surrounded by a staff that has been trained and educated and has the same motivation and goals. So we now actually can provide optimal neuroprotective care, not only for the most vulnerable babies that are at risk for neurological injury, but also for the babies who have been unfortunate enough to sustain an injury early in their life. Um, and to see them get the most optimal care and then be able to go home as intact as they possibly can is, uh, I can't explain how gratifying it is. It's just, that's what I, that's what I became a doctor for. <laughs>